so here's the thing I feel like I've been slamming your butt cheeks with nothing but expensive products lately and I don't mean to do that I like to be the balance you know uh, Muhammad Ali I'm so hyped so I went to CVS and I only went in for makeup wipes and then this happened it's kind of a funny story, honestly, if you think about it. But don't think about it too long because then it's not that funny of a story. Yo, this could be like a sash. We got primers, we got a brand new mascara, we got a glitter mascara. That's purple. It matches my shirt that I got at Target, by the way. I don't have everything for a full face, but we got like enough stuff to play around with and I'm actually the excited. Did you guys know Touch and Soul is now in CVS? Which is so exciting. Touch and Soul makes one of my favorite primers ever. And I actually bought it to show you guys. This is the Touch and Soul No Problem Priming Eraser Set. I don't know what the priming eraser is, but I know what the No Problem Primer is. It's so good. I also got the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Primer. This is silicone free and has a cool effect a lot of the description is in Korean which we love because we stand k-beauty on this channel we love I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this guy because it just looks so interesting love the packaging and cooling effect yes please give me that it has a kind of like a like a jelly type of thing and it has a scent but it's like a skincare e scent it doesn't really have like a fragrance and it says silicone free i love anything that says that my skin and i beef with silicone and she is very cooling my gosh you know what this reminds me of like dead butt reminds me of the becca zero pigment foundation this reminds me a lot of that that left me so blurred so blurred i don't know if you guys can tell but my skin like my bottles where are they oh i like that a lot so far we are fans. I know I love this guy So I don't really feel the need to prime with this But I'm glad I bought it because I actually ran out of my old one and I really like this primer However, I'm super curious to try the eraser stick I'm gonna go ahead and apply this maybe to like my under eyes and where again I have the most pores which thanks to the first primer. We don't really have much pores, but I'm still gonna try this anyway It's literally just a mini balm guys and then with my hands. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out Wow. Oh, I like that a lot. Yo, so far primer movie there wasn't any new brow products or at least none that i saw so we're just gonna go ahead and skip right along to eyes also did you know that pop cosmetics is also at cvs did you guys know that did you know that because i didn't pop beauty sends me pr and i didn't know either way i'm very excited i love pop beauty i love supporting brands to support me so we're gonna use them today this is the light show palette she is very bright very orange bada bing bada boom in your face I should apply my tape thing. Also, did you guys know that LA Girl is sold at CVS? That one I did know. But this is a brand new LA Girl palette that I haven't seen or used ever before. This is the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eye Palette. I believe this is in the style Downplay. And we're going to be using a mixture of both of these to create like a look. I just have a good feeling about these things. I'm going to go ahead and grab the brown and Downplay. I don't believe it has a name. And we're just going to use this as our transition shade and get this party started with. Now we're going to go into our pop palette and grab this super bright orange. It's a mixture between a matte and kind of a shimmer. This color honestly reminds me of, you guys know those popsicles? The really long orange and yellow ones that taste like high C on steroids. Those ones, mm, I want one. Yo, this is a super pretty shade. Now we're gonna go back into the pop palette and grab this gorgeous red. And we're gonna focus this color more on the crease just to really give this look like some dimension. To smooth everything out, I'm gonna go back into the cream shade. I'm gonna go back and grab the cream shade and the LA girl palette now because i'm dying we're gonna go into this tie-dye pinkity orange kind of tie-dye shade it is a shimmer definitely baked and i'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my lid I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I was expecting a little more out of this shade, like I was really hyped and it didn't really do much, but it's okay. I'm gonna grab this peach and kind of mix it on top of it. You see, this one is like brighter. And then to deepen up the look, I'm gonna go into this burgundy. I didn't have anything new for eyeliner, so I just went ahead and did like just some quick, quick purple liner. I didn't wanna do black because I really wanna test out this mascara. I haven't heard much about it, but this is the brand new Air Volume by L'Oreal. She cute. I got mine in the shade Black is Black. And I'm guessing the hype is again, it's supposed to feel very airy 
airy and very light. The brush looks dope. I'm really excited to try it. I love mascaras, you guys know that. So we'll see if this one is up for the ride. So she's a little clumpy, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not a bad mascara, definitely paid in my lashes. As for like the airiness, I can kind of feel it. I don't think it really is a factor though when I apply mascara, like I'm never like, oh, I hope this doesn't like weigh down my lashes, which it's not, so that's good. I do have these new paparazzi makeup glitterazzi mascaras. I don't know if it's called glitter. Oh, it's glitter hair mascara. It is temporary shimmery color for your lashes. I got two shades, I got purple and blue. For one I can read, I think this is CVS exclusive brand and they don't test on animals, so that's always really cool. Because of the look we're going for, I really wanna try the purple one. Okay, so this is the packaging. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this over the mascara that I already applied and see if it actually does anything. Also, I do like that it comes with like a comb to fix any mistakes that may arise. I don't know, I've never put glitter on my lashes, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't feel like that did a thing on my lashes, but then again, I did just use a brand new mascara. So we'll come back to this. I might try this on my bottom lashes and see if it works. But since we are primed, very primed, honestly, these primers feel so good. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the skin now. Now, this is the brand new Revlon Color Stay Light Cover Foundation. I got mine in the shade Brem Brulee. It is a natural finish, 12 hour foundation, and it has sunscreen in it. She's very liquidy. Don't know how I feel about that. But we're gonna give it a fair shot regards. I definitely feel like I got a shade that was too light. Again, good thing that it's sheer. Ooh. Okay, so obviously it's a sheer foundation. So you don't want to use it with a sponge because the sponge will just absorb way too much of the foundation. But I gotta say guys, blending it out with a brush, especially a foundation brush, like it's near impossible. This is one of those situations where I should have gotten two. You live and you learn guys, you live and you learn. Yeah, see it applies way better with a sponge, but the sponge absorbs way too much of what already is such little coverage. Okay, I don't think I love this foundation guys. I don't even like how it's looking on the skin. Aside Aside from the horrible match that I did, it's very sticky and I don't like that feeling. I'm definitely gonna save this look with some cream bronzer and I'll be right back. All right, so I hate this foundation, but we're gonna move on. I have these brand new CoverGirl blushes that I have been dying to test out. I love CoverGirl. I haven't tried these blushes before. These are also very new to me. I'm pretty sure they're like new to the store, but they're also like new to me, which is important. These are the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blushes. I'm gonna mix Sweet Seduction and Love Me. We are almost done with the eyes. I just went ahead and put some eyeshadow, again from the Paw Palette. Now, I really wanna go back into this mascara. Did I break the brush already? See if this does anything, anything at all. Not really, okay. I mean, you guys, it kind of tinges the purple, but barely, dude. And it broke again. Let's go ahead and move on. You know what, actually, I might try it on my brows, cause who doesn't want sparkly purple brows? Not me, apparently. Again, let's just, okay. For lips, I actually have a couple of items I wanna try. This is the Pop Beauty Plump Pout Volume Gloss. Never tried this before. And then this is the brand new CoverGirl Ultimate Outlast Liquid Lipstick in the shade Prosecco Pop. Ooh, this is a pretty nude. That's a really pretty nude. I like it a lot. Let's hop into this, ooh, interesting packaging. By the way, this is in the shade Clear Ice. And she is glossy, let me tell you. All right, we have a few more items from the brand of Paparazzi. We have this roll-on glitter. It's layerable for the face and the body. I purposely haven't applied highlight yet because I really want to try this out. I don't think it has a shade name. Oh, Dazzling. Definitely does put some glitter on the skin. I don't know if roll-on is honestly the best way to do this, but... That's not bad. Although it definitely lifted the concealer and the makeup underneath. Oh my Lord. I love it for the body and I could definitely see the merits of it for the body, but on the face, that applicator, mm-mm. Please don't let me forget this, guys. This is the Pop Prismatic Pop Highlighter Palette. First off, I'm gonna grab this icy pink and it's gonna go right into our inner corner. Just highlight our eyes a bit, like it. And then I'm gonna grab this gold. That is a really stunning highlight. Yo, that's super pretty and it's so like light. It's very natural, but you can definitely tell it highlighted and it looks so pretty. 
Now we can move on to the paparazzi pens. These are the paparazzi tattoo pens. So they actually come with a liquid liner side and a stamp side, which I didn't know that. I thought I would have done my eyeliner with them. I usually buy these off of Amazon, but it's cool that we have these like at our disposal at a drugstore that is so much more like, hey, I need to run in and grab this. Cause even if you got Prime Baby Girl, sometimes you want stuff like now. Okay, so I got both the heart and the star one. So we're gonna go ahead and have some fun with this. And we are all done. Our look is complete. This is a full face, basically, of everything that is new at CVS. Again, it might not be like a super full face, but close enough, guys. Who is even, you know, counting or whatever? I am gonna go ahead and say I think the mascara is okay. Honestly, like, it's a mascara, guys. I'm really not wowed by it. The most disappointing products, I would probably say, are the paparazzi products. The tattoo pens are dope. I mean, I got my three little hearts, and they're fun. And like I said, you can go ahead and get them now somewhere near you literally a CVS is a corner H it's cool the LA girl palette I want to say like that I really enjoyed it but I didn't really play around with it enough to enjoy it so I'm definitely gonna have to play with it some more and see like what it do as for the shadows I did use guys I like them and I can't say that I have used LA girl eyeshadows before and I like them the pop beauty palettes I like both of them I love the highlight one probably more I love the highlight like I love 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 the highlight very natural but also very shimmery but not in a way that emphasizes texture or makes your skin look super ultra glossy which are not really the highlights I kind of go for. I like a more natural highlight. The CoverGirl blushes, they worked out really awesome. They're pigmented, they blended out. I'm not mad at them. I think Love Me is definitely my favorite. It can almost be like a blush topper. It's shimmery, guys, and it's super pretty. So I like these. I'm definitely gonna put my stamp of approval on them. The glitter mascaras, oh my gosh, just like, ugh. no. My favorite items, hands down, were the Touch and Soul primers. You guys, if anything, if you got anything out of this video, it's these, 100%. Go get these. These are a little bit more pricey, even for CVS guys. They are a little bit on the pricey side. I am gonna warn you right now, but I think they're so good. I love this primer. It felt so good on the skin and it blurred my skin to death. And I honest to God think it's a dupe for the Becca Zero Pigment Foundation. I really do. Also, I think I might like it more because it has a cool effect on the skin and it just feels really good also the pen mm. and the foundation guys i could care less about this foundation i don't like it it wasn't just the match the match is on me the actual formula and the way that this foundation feels mm -mm. I personally can't recommend it if I don't like it. If you guys are big fans of Revlon, if you guys have used this foundation and it works for you, that's awesome, great, I love it. Love that journey for you, ma. But I personally do not like it. And that's where I'm gonna stand with that and that's where I'm standing with all these products. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. I hope this video was informative, it helped you, it entertained you. At the very least, it made you smile, which is what I'm here for. To entertain, to teach, and to put a smile on that face. Thank you guys for joining me once again and I'll see you in my next video.